In this video, we will determine an exponential decay function in the form of p of t equals a times b raised to the power of t. We will also not be using logarithms. A radioactive substance decays exponentially. A scientist begins with 160 milligrams of a radioactive substance. After 25 hours, 120 milligrams of the substance remains. How many milligrams will remain after 32 hours, round to a tenth of a milligram? Remember, when we have an exponential function in the form of p of t equals a times b raised to the power of t, a is the initial or starting amount. In this case, because the scientist begins with 160 milligrams of a radioactive substance, we know a, the initial or starting amount, is equal to 160. And therefore, our function must be in the form of p of t equals 160 times b raised to the power of t. We also know after 25 hours, 120 milligrams of the substance remains. As an ordered pair in the form of t comma p of t, the ordered pair would be 25 comma 120. Using this ordered pair, we now substitute 25 for t and 120 for p of t in order to solve for the base b. Performing the substitution gives us 120 equals 160 times b raised to the power of 25. And now to solve for b, we first isolate b by dividing both sides by 160. And now simplifying on the right, 160 divided by itself simplifies to one, giving us b to the 25th power on the right side. On the left, 120 over 160 simplifies to 3 fourths. The greatest common factor between 120 and 160 is 40. There are three 40s in 120 and four 40s in 160. And now to solve for b, we need to undo the 25th power by raising both sides to the reciprocal power of 25, which is 1 25th. So we'll raise both sides of the equation to the 1 25th power. Notice now on the right side we have power face of powers, and therefore we multiply the exponents. 25 times 1 25th is equal to 1, giving us b to the first, or b, on the right side. On the left side we have 3 fourths, raised to the power of 1 25th. Now we're gonna leave b in its exact form. We will not convert to a decimal around, because if we round, we will have more of an error in our exponential function. So now we'll substitute b, back into our function p of t, which will give us p of t equals 160. Now because the base b has a rational exponent, let's put the base b in brackets. So we have open bracket and then 3 fourths raised to the power of 1 25th. And this base b is still raised to the power of t. Now let's go ahead and simplify this. Notice how here we have powers raised to powers and therefore we multiply the exponents. 1 25th times t is 1 25th t, or t divided by 25, and therefore our simplified exponential decay function is p of t equals 160 times 3 fourths raised to the power of t divided by 25. Now that we have the exponential decay function, we can determine how much remains after 32 hours by determining p of 32. P of 32 is equal to 160 times 3 fourths raised to the power of 32 divided by 25. And now we'll go to the calculator and round to the nearest tenth of a milligram. To the nearest tenth, we have 110.7 milligrams. Let's write the answer as a complete sentence. We now know after 32 hours, 110.7 milligrams of the substance remains. I hope you found this helpful.